Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a craft video for a while and it's been a, it, April was a crazy month. Go and watch those videos to understand why I had birthdays, Easter, spring break, you name it, I had it last month. So I'm kind of getting back into my craft mode again. So I'm going to try and bring a couple more craft videos for you to my channel. The first um, one that I want to do, I know that you've seen a lot of those farmhouse inspired you know, chrome and wood, com you know, combinations kind of things. And every time I go to like Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby, I actually haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a while, um, but I can never find the letter that I want in the chrome big letter things. So I figured I would do one for myself. I found this one in the regular craft section at Michael's and then I got myself some chrome spray paint. So I'm going to spray paint that one and then I also thought while I'm at it, I always like the look of kind of a magnet board look, but I really like this frame that I have here, kind of a double stacked frame that I've, I've had this for since the summertime um, last year and I haven't done anything with it, but I thought it'd be really fun to do the chrome look on here, kind of like a magnet board. I might do white edges here and then white on this piece that goes on top and kind of distress it and kind of look at make it look weathered and worn out and then I'll put a picture in between or something in the middle I don't know what I'm gonna put in the middle so that's what we're gonna do today so let's get going um, I should be doing this outside because it's spray paint but I'm just gonna do it in here because the lighting is good it started to get overcast outside so we're just gonna do it in here and my phone where it can't get ruined, so. Woo. I'd open the windows. I'm gonna hurry and put it outside on this paper, but um, there's a lot more going outside. So I'm gonna set that one aside. We'll paint that guy. Okay, we're gonna get these outside, fumigate the room really quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, while we wait for those to dry, I'm gonna paint this little guy here really quick. I debated about staining it first, um, and then adding the white, but what I might do is just paint the white, sand it down a little bit on the edges, and then just add some brown, either paint or stain where I want it. That way I don't have to wait for the stain to dry. Let me just paint this really quick and then we'll be done. Be right back. Okay, while I was waiting for this bee to dry, I added another coat to the other board and it's out drying right now. But I got thinking like, this is gonna look a little washed out on my walls and I don't like the color of my walls right now anyway. So in the time being while I wait to be able to paint my house um, I needed to go on to something else so I found this piece of scrap wood in my garage and it is
I'm getting a little bit of, okay, I'm not going to touch it a whole lot. There's, I'm getting some fingerprints on it. Might just be a, a little bit tacky. But what I'm going to do is, um, Okay guys, welcome back. I am all done with these. So what I've done is I have finished staining and letting this dry. Um, and then I, then you can glue the top of this, the bead to the top of this. So there's that one. I might add, actually add a frame to the side of this one to kind of give it some more character and some more depth. There's that guy, and I liked how that stood out better than this one. Got that frame, inside frame all painted, and then the sides were all dry, and a little bit of stain, but you can't, it didn't really make a difference, so I didn't really show that on camera. So there's that one, and I don't know what I'm gonna put in the middle of it, but I will probably do like a little clip and then put a little picture or something so I can change it out. So there's that one. This is kind of where the idea kind of came from, is that I was working on a project here, but I hadn't finished it yet, but we'll finish it here for you. So this one, you'll see, kind of do the reveal here. I stained the board first, kind of the opposite that I did the other one. And then, so go ahead a little bit. Still dry or still wet. The, I stained it yesterday, but the, so the spray paint bled a little bit. So then there's that one. Again, I can put a little clip right here and, and make it look like it's kind of a magnet board. I might even attach a little, a you know, like a magnet. I might actually glue it on there so it looks like it's attached to the board. So there's that one. Again, I might add a frame to the side of this one, but it, you know, it's endless what you can do. So I just wanted to show you those things, um, different ways that you can add this um, chrome spray paint without having to actually have metal. It's just three different ways that you can use the spray in different projects, different looks but it gives you that metal look without actually having to have metal. So I hope you like what you see here. I'll show you the finished products, or you know, all kind of decorated here in just a second, and um, you can see if you want to give it a try yourself. Okay, I'm back for just one little bit. I finished um, putting some frames on the sides. So here's this one. Hopefully the glare from outside isn't. So I just added the frame on the outside and then a picture and then I just used washi tape. Just do the side. Then I did this guy here with just two little clips and they're actually just hot glued on so I can probably pop them off if I need to but I want to do something different and then there's just a picture that hangs from those two clips. So there's that one and the last one he's still drying I did I used E6000 glue because I couldn't find my wood glue so he's a little bit droopy. E6000 um, takes a long time to dry so there's that guy. I did the wood frame on this one as well. And that's why I wanted to come back and chat with you guys because
some of my projects that I've been wanting to do and some of them that have been started but not finished um, are because I doubt myself and my ability to cut wood. We have like a handsaw that's like 30 years old that my husband loves and um, he likes to use it but it's not, it's clunky and I'm not comfortable using it. So I hold off on a lot of these projects until he's home and so um, I don't get a lot done. Today I just, oops, see there's my bee. Okay, so today I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna, if I botch it, then, you know, I mess it up. But if not, I'll get, actually get it done before he's even home from work. So today I went out and I got the saw set up and I cut all of my own wood. And I cut it for this guy here and this one and another project that I'm working on in the garage. Um, and then I also did the hand nailer, or the power nailer. And I did the, the nails myself. I've done that before, but he's always been with me. Um, so I guess what I'm coming back to say is try something that you don't think you know, know how to do or can do or you think your husband should do it. Whatever the case may be. Go try something that you doubt yourself on and you'll find that like it's really empowering. Like the, My neighbor saw me doing this today and she's like, wow, I am so impressed. She's like, I've watched you like doing a couple different projects, but you always have your husband cutting the wood. And she's like, way to go. I'm so proud of you. And that made me feel good because like, I do doubt myself. And I know that a lot of you guys doubt yourself and our abilities. And sometimes we just have to try something for the first time to realize that we can do it. So that's why I wanted to come back on today um, and just kind of challenge you to try something hard, something that you don't think you know how to do. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy these crafts. Three different ways to use that metallic wood to give a farmhouse look um, without having to use metal. I hope you like it and we'll chat with you later. Bye.